Hello, this is Sidemind, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we are going to be going over um, how to use the lineages from Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft. I might be mispronouncing that, and I do apologize. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, um, this is a, a book you can get in um, uh, on D&D Beyond. And it contains, it's pretty much spooky D&D. Um, it's got, you know, uh, witches and, and vampires and undead. But the interesting thing is that it has three sort of races that they call lineages. The lineage is a little bit different from usual uh, races in that um, you can either start as them, like normal, that's simple enough to do, uh, or you can um, become them later on. Um, and, it, and it gives you details about how that might happen, but as it says, you know, events might involve during matches that lead your character to replacing their race with this new lineage. Uh, and that will happen. Um, so you can choose to start your character off as normal, which is just simple enough. Um, as long as you've bought the the race, it'll be available to you. Um, you do that the normal way: character builder, standard race. Ask me for to loot. Lineage. And there, we'll be able to choose the three lineages it offers the Dampier, Expert, or the Reborn. Or basically, Vampire, Witch, Undead. Um, and you can just choose them and, and start with them. You go through, you choose your size, choose skills. And then the specific creatures of your lineage. And that's a pretty basic way of adding your race as 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 a, a lineage. But the problem is that um, it does say that you transform into a, you can transform into a lineage. And the details about what happens there is that it basically replaces everything except for a few things. So regardless of your choice, it'll have, uh, it's somewhere in here, it's in here somewhere, ah, there you go, Ancestral Legacy. If you replace a race with this lineage, you can keep the following elements of that race. Any skill proficiencies you gain from it, and any climbing, flying, or swimming speed you gain from it. If you don't keep any of those elements, um, or you choose this lineage at character creation, you can gain, two you can gain proficiency in two skills of your choice. And as you can see in the, in the character builder, it does give you to choose two skills. The character builder itself doesn't give you any options for choosing a race that got changed over. Um, so, for example, if I want to close this down, here I've got a, a third level character I made, an arrow croaker named Finch, that I want to change into a damn fear, making it a vampire Finch, which is. A real thing, by the way. There's such a thing as a vampire bird, a bird that drinks blood. Nice to know. So anyway, um, I want to create my vampire bench, but there is no way to change it into an Aracocra Dampier lineage. Um, if I wanted to go to the character builder, um, Best thing I can do then is to go to a race and see. First of all, take a note of what your, your race would offer in terms of skills and speeds. So, as you see, as an arrow cooker, I'll have a, I'll have a, uh, a flying speed equal to my walking speed, which would be 30 feet. So I'd have to note that I would get a 30 feet flying speed that I would still be able to, to use as a down fear. Um, I don't get any any skills from my race, so that's fine. But there's no actual way to change into to keep that um, when I change over. So if I go to this, 
and then go down to Ancestral Legacy. It just gives me the option to choose two skills, which, you know, that's not, that's not going to apply here. Um, you can also rechange your size, and that's actually a legitimate, you can change your size. Um, so in this case, because there is a way to do it, it's actually pretty easy. It's just not very evident in the character builder. Basically, in the character builder, all you do is ignore this and don't choose skills. You just ignore it. Um, if, your, if your race did only give you skills, you could probably just select them here and it'll work out the same. Um, but in this case, because um, my race didn't give me any skills and just gave me a flying speed, I could ignore these two. And then um, go back to my character sheet. Well, this is where I would customize it. So I could then choose click here, customize uh, 30 feet flying. Uh, Ancestral, let's see. Uh, I might be responding. So, that, so when I view my speed, I do have 30 foot flying speed next to Ancestral Legacy. Um, oh, actually, it should be 35 because it's. My flag speed is always equal to my walking speed, so I should actually repeat that as 35. So there you go. Um, you can even change which is um, viewed. So. Um, if I had different skills um, for whatever reason, as I said, you could choose the skills as part of your ancestral legacy. There are two skills, but let's say for whatever reason, there's a third or fourth skill it added or whatever. Um, you can customize the skill. Yes, let's choose nature, for example. Customize. And again, um, you can choose a skill for sea level. Proficient. And again, ancestral legacy. And just put in your notes there. Um, so it shows, I'll show as a customized post, but you can always um, check. It doesn't really make it clear with the notes. Um, but you have that proficiency. That's pretty much how you would add the note. There's nothing else to do, everything else about your race, whether it's your Dragonborn Breath Attack or whether it's your Halfling Luck, um, it all gets replaced. The only thing you get to keep are skills and speeds. And those you can just add onto your sheet directly. So there you go. That's it. Nice and sweet. Thank you. Bye.